Recently, Cardano, or ADA as you may know it, has been going up dramatically in value. In fact, just in the last month, ADA has risen 150%. With Cardano surging in price like this, it's making many people wonder, what even is Cardano? So that's what I'm going to try and briefly sum up in this video, is what is Cardano? I also plan to release a longer version of this video with more details and more of the nuances to Cardano later on in the future, so subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. Other important facts to know about Cardano is that Cardano and ADA actually are two different things. So Cardano is a blockchain network, and ADA is a cryptocurrency that runs on Cardano's blockchain network. Another important thing to know is there's a maximum amount of Cardano that will ever be created, and that is set at 45 billion, so it is a deflationary currency. And as of recently, Cardano has became the third largest market cap token used for cryptocurrency. So Cardano is a third generation cryptocurrency that shares a lot of its key characteristics with Bitcoin and Ethereum, but is also trying to improve some of the shortfalls that Bitcoin and Ethereum have. Cardano is doing this with its unique proof of stake concept, as well as its unique interoperability concepts that it has. Some of the shortfalls that Bitcoin and Ethereum have that Cardano is trying to solve are things like scalability, interoperability, and sustainability. Cardano looks to improve scalability by tackling these things. Transaction speed, network resources, and data scale. Cardano plans to do these things by implementing new protocols, such as Ouroboros Arena, in other words, recursive internetwork architecture, as well as using concepts such as partitioning and sidechains. As we mentioned earlier, Cardano isn't only looking to improve on scalability, it's also looking to improve on interoperability. Not only in the crypto world, but also in the world of traditional banking. Cardano wants to act as a bridge between the cryptocurrency world and the traditional banking world. It wants to do so by giving traditional banks the metadata that they need to satisfy their compliances, but at the same time still giving crypto users the decentralization and security they love. Lastly, but arguably most importantly, Cardano looks to solve some of the sustainability problems that have caused other large cryptos such as Bitcoin and Ethereum to have to create totally new blockchains when they come to certain disagreements. You might be familiar with Ethereum Classic or Bitcoin Cash as example. Cardano's solution to this problem lies within how we tackled the answers to two simple questions. What improvements should be made and who is going to pay for the improvements that we choose to make. Cardano's solution to the first question is to create a societal voting system that allows ADA holders to vote on propositions for changes or improvements to the ADA network or Cardano network, and eventually Cardano looks to add a mechanized layer of assurance via smart contracts, which are coming very soon. Once a change gets voted on and pushed through, the next question must be answered. Who's gonna pay for it? Cardano's solution is to use a system similar to Dash, or in other words, essentially a treasury system, rather than using some of the unsustainable methods such as ICO or venture capital money. So that is pretty much as brief of a synopsis as I can give on what Cardano is. Some of the biggest things that you wanna take away that individualize Cardano is its proof of stake method, the fact that it's trying to use interoperability to become an essential internet of cryptos, and it also has relatively good ideas for sustainability. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button down below as well as the like button, and hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I do upload. Like I mentioned before, I am gonna be uploading a more detailed video on Cardano, going into more of the nuances and specific details on it. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time.